Welcome. In this video, I will demonstrate the Arduino example Wi Fi single strength. For more information, see the links below the video. This example is included in a sound library. As you see in the library manager, I have, have it installed here. Uh, I made a copy of the example that we find under examples, sound Wi-Fi single strength. Um, I adjusted the file called um, Arduino Secrets that holds the Wi-Fi password and name. I have downloaded to my MQR 1000 that is powered with a battery and I have a switch here to turn it on off. Right now it's off, but I will turn it on with a switch like that. And then here we have Asunder Studio and this is the socket server that is stopped right now. I will turn it on and then immediately the Arduino is making a connection to the server and we are getting the single panel that is actually the only feature in this example and that's the Wi-Fi signal strength. So it's the strength measured by the Wi-Fi module on the board. I will open the, the log. I put this like this. We're starting the log and add it to the chart. So right now we like minus 54. And as you see, I have put my Arduino on a metal plate and I will now cover it. So it will be a kind of a shielded cage. Then we see immediately that it's much lower strength. And now I remove it. We are back. As I mentioned before, the example consists of two files. It's the Wi-Fi signal strength and also the Arduino secrets.h. Here I put in my Wi-Fi or something, the name of your network, and then the password. That's step number one to access Asunder Studio. Uh, next step to connect is to fill in the configuration, how to access uh, the server. In this case, I entered the name, the host name of my PC and the port number. If we go to Asunder Studio, you can right click on the server when it's running and then you will see the IP address, host name and port number. You can run the example in two different modes. And that has to do with this define. 
if you have this uh, define uncommented, you will have debug print out in the serial monitor. So I will change here, starting it. I will also connect my USB. that and then we download it now you see while we download the connection disappears because it's a timeout if a sound studio do not get any messages it will remove the connection so now we're running this example with the debug channel, but it doesn't start until we have a serial monitor up running. So now it started. This is only necessary in the startup, so I can close it. The parameters that uh, is uh, necessary for connection to Asunder Studio. The port number. Actually, we can set that here in Eternal. Settings. Socket server. You can set the port number here if you want to use another one. Turn on again, and we are back. And right click on the server. We can actually select to use the, I copy the IP address, use that instead here. Now to shutting down the old connection. Now we're waiting for the serial monitor. And we are back. Now we can see the properties of the client that in this case is the Arduino. So here we can see the Arduino, what IP address it got, and what port number it's using for this connection. In the header of the sketch, you can find useful information, like a link to the Wi-Fi 101 library and uh, a link to the specification of this um, example and also a link to how to download Asunder Studio. Okay, that's all. Thank you for watching.